class. For today's video, we will be deriving the standard form of an equation of an ellipse. With this orientation, where the major axis is horizontal and the minor axis is vertical by using the distance formula. Suppose we have here the vertices of this, of this ellipse with coordinates negative a0 and a0. The foci has coordinates negative c0 and c0. The coordinates of co-vertices 0b and 0 negative b. We also have a point on the ellipse with coordinates x, y. Let's try to find the standard form of an equation of this ellipse. Okay, so that is distance formula for using this one is, that's the square root of x plus c quantity squared plus y squared or y minus 0 quantity squared or simply y squared plus the length of this using the distance formula. So that is square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y minus 0 quantity squared or simply y squared. That is equal to 2a. So, given this equation, we can uh, move we can move this this expression to the other side. So we can have the square root of x plus c quantity squared plus y squared is equal to 2a minus the square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared. So we have to get rid of the radical signs. We have to square both sides. Square both sides. So if we're going to square this, the radical sign will be, okay? And then it will be x plus c quantity squared plus y squared. And this, this is a binomial quantity squared. Please take note of that. So I will have 4a squared minus 2a times is 1 times the constant 2. So I'll have 4a square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared. Then the square of the last term or the second term. So you'll have plus x minus c quantity squared plus y squared. Okay. And then square this. Okay, so we'll have x squared plus 2xc or cx plus c squared plus y squared is equal to 4a squared minus 4a times the square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared. Then the square of this is x squared minus 2xc or cx plus c squared plus y squared. Then we can simplify. Okay, so we can cancel x squared. We can also cancel c squared and y squared. So we will be left with 2xc or 2cx equals 4a squared minus 4a square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared minus 2xc. We can move this one here. So it will become 4, 4 cx equals 4a squared minus 4a times the square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared. So maybe we can uh, rewrite this into 4a x minus c square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared is equal to 4a squared 
minus 4cx. Can you follow? Then we can simplify this. We can divide everything by 4. We will have a square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared is equal to a squared minus cx. We still have here a radical sign. So we have to simplify this okay, or get rid of this radical sign by squaring both sides again. Okay, square this, we will have a squared times x minus c quantity squared plus y squared. So we can get rid of this. Then the square of a squared minus cx will have a raised to the 4 minus 2a squared cx plus c squared x squared. Next is simplify or square this one. we will have a squared times x squared. Okay. You have x squared minus 2cx plus c squared plus y squared. You have to enclose this in parentheses. Then equals a raised to the 4 minus 2a squared cx plus c squared x squared. Then distribute. So you'll have a squared x squared minus 2a squared cx plus a squared c squared plus a squared y squared equals a raised to the fourth minus 2 a squared cx plus c squared x squared. Then we can simplify this one. We can cancel negative 2a squared cx and negative 2a squared cx. So we will be left with a squared x squared plus a squared c squared plus a squared y squared equals a to the fourth plus plus c squared x squared. So lahat na may mga x terms guys, x squared terms, lipat sa left hand side of the equation and also retain this term with y squared term. Then the rest of the terms move, uh, move these terms to the other side of the equation. So we'll have a squared x squared minus c squared x squared plus a squared y squared equals a to the fourth minus a squared c squared. Then we can factor out, we can group a squared x squared minus c squared x squared and factor x squared. So factor x squared, we will have a squared minus c squared. And then a squared y squared. Can we, we can also factor this. Uh, since a squared is the greatest common factor, we can factor it out. a squared times the quantity a squared minus c squared. Then we can divide everything by a squared times the quantity of a squared minus c squared. So, sa lahat yan, a squared times a squared minus c squared. Then a squared times the quantity of a squared minus c squared. Okay, so this will be cancelled. Of course, this is equal to 1. And then a squared will also be cancelled. So what would be left here is y squared over a squared minus c squared. Then you have plus. 
can cancel a squared minus c squared, a squared minus c squared, we'll have x squared over a squared. We have x squared over a squared plus y squared over a squared minus c squared is equal to 1. Then, we have to let b squared be equal to a squared minus c squared. Since from the previous video, we have, we have derived this one, right? That a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. So, we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. The result of the equation, which is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, is the equation of an ellipse whose center is at the origin and whose foci are on the x-axis. So when the, when the foci are on the y-axis, the equation will be of the form, it will be of the form x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared is equal to 1. So again, in this equation, the major axis is horizontal, minor axis vertical. Well, for this equation, x squared over b squared plus y squared equals 1, the major axis is vertical, minor axis is horizontal. Again, this is how we derive the standard equation of an ellipse resulting to this equation. Thank you.